What's the meat up? Dobbin, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we are doing more mod pack related stuff. Yeah, so we're on the, the SMP. I was going to record earlier because a lot of you missed a lot of stuff. I'll perform, inform you about all the stuff that happened. Um, the main part that I would like to inform you is that I have gold armor because of mining. I need to get more mining level up. But anyways, I found a better village than the one that I found last episode, which was a bit of a smaller um, village. This one's a really, really big area. So yeah, we kind of transported all of our stuff over. I'm only here with Nick. I'm not in the call. Anyways, before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Overall, what we're doing right now is that we're trying to transport all the villagers into this area. Now, the reason for this is because we kind of want to make sure that all of the villagers are relatively safe, and yeah. So I'm currently doing that right now, and I'm using these staff of an ensnarement, in, 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 ensnarement. Sorry, excuse me, ah, ensnarement to get them in, and uh, yeah. So a few things I'll like to point out is that there's a lot more golems in this one than the other one. So we have the uh, iron golem with the. Canadian Ranger hats. I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, we have the Melon Golem. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but we actually have a Obsidian Golem and a Colored Terracotta Golem, which is very interesting. And there's also a Wool Golem, but I don't think you can see it over here. So, yeah. Next, referring to the, um, uh, what's it called? The Android chips. And the, the Android chips are what gives me my powers which is very important. So an example of so this so-called chip is the speed chip that I have. And right now I'm going to, by the way, I have these little bags I can carry chest, but anyways. So yeah, one example is the speed chip and the speed chip obviously gives me speed. Now that's not what's, that's not what's giving me speed right now because the speed chip's not in my um, like character right now. Uh, and that's because I need the station. But aside from that, basically, um, what's giving me speed right now is the uh, the running shoes that I have on. Um, yeah, I also have two rage gauntlets or rage gloves or whatever it's called. Oh, that's right. There's villagers here. I can bring them over as well. Okay, whatever. Let's just go to the nice village. And for now, we'll stick with these villagers. Uh, so it says it said there's like. Is there a villager here still? No. It says that there's two more villagers somewhere. Ah, there's one here. Ah, okay, good. It's like we're... <sighs> the amount of, like, references I can make of what we're doing right now. Phew. <sighs> All I'm gonna say... <sighs> you know, it's a very sensitive topic in, uh, history. If you can guess what I'm thinking of, then... Yeah, best not to say out loud. And, uh, release. Release. Okay, so we got more villagers there. Now, I'm gonna go use this, go to this village, and should I get these people? Yeah, I'll get these people, why not? Add some cultural diversity. Hey, how's it going there, sir? Um, could you please, like, get out of your bed and, uh, yep, alright. Okay, let's get another person while we're here. Um, ooh, an ocean gravitam nama table. Um, hello, how's it going? Hello, go! Alright, so, man, they must be, like, up. Oh, I think I released that village by accident. Let me go back. Up. Oh, nope. Uh, I guess that village is lost in time now. Okay. Hello. How's it going there? Not fully in with that zombie villager mask of yours. Okay, so it says that there's more villagers over here. Ah, okay. Oh, and look, it's a cola golem. Look at that. We also have another iron golem and cola golem, but look at that. Yeah, so, so this village overall just has a lot. And I mean a lot of villagers. So I'm just going to go around in like explore the area and then try to see what's my best course of action for these villagers like i have two of them with the same hat look at that but anyways so i was thinking about making this area this entire area here um a part of like the village uh but you know right now it's sanctioned off to just this portion because they need to work on this area in particular i need to add in beds and whatnot and add an iron door that's probably like the most important thing, the iron door, just so that they don't escape. And the main reason why I have the villagers sa sanctioned off into that one area is not because we were trying to like, you know, recreate some past historical events. No, the reason why we're doing that is because um, I'm kind of worried that these people will start killing off the villagers. And so if they're sanctioned off into one area, then, you know, like it'll be, it'll be good to have those guys just off in there. Need some 
Okay, so I have a mixed opinions about this. So there's a farmer working here, right? Now, should I keep the farmer here or just move him over? Ah, you know what? I'll just make a farm over there. Screw it. We could technically breed the withers. That is something that we can do. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I got to that one area with the coal golem. Because that's where all the other villagers are. Okay, and... No, no, no. Okay, there we go. I got your friend. Come here, bat. Oh, wow. So, it, it, I can't capture a bat. Nice. Oh, I found you guys. Look at that. Why are you all here? What the frick happened to you people? Okay, well, I found where the majority of villagers are. I have no clue why I'm not paying <laughs> any so yeah um like i said any village that we come across we're just going to take all the villagers and then move them to our village oh um no what no i thought i could capture you i thought i could capture you no 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 no, no. oh shit. what are you trying to capture freaking oh god oh no 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 Okay, so basically, I hit a um, what's it called? I hit a uh, guard villager, and so that's, that's what that's what I meant by I, th I thought I can capture the use because I thought I can capture the, the guard villager and bring him back, but no, the guard villager doesn't yeah. get captured. So you know how I have a pick that mines in a three by three. Oh, so you're just gonna go th like. Hammer right through. Next to in it. Yeah. Hammering through works with it, so I'm up to the ancient degree. Gosh, trying to teleport him back and forth is really laggy. Ah, okay. And then we got another one here. And then another one. There we go. Okay. Keep forgetting to make that iron door. Okay. Uh, so I need a stone pressure plate and then an iron door and then stone button on the other side. Oh uh, yeah, and we need to designate areas for people. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get back to the village and transport more villagers. Uh, I think there's like... The soul belt was for some reason damaged. Okay, so um, yeah, I almost got blown up by a creeper. Okay, well, thankfully I ran in time but still yeah um apparently that place isn't lit because the mobs are spawning and i don't know how they're spawning so we're going to have to figure out a way to light the place up a little bit because if monsters are spawning then that's something's wrong lower down your brightness one minute or two yeah uh, i should probably lower down my brightness i forgot to make the so, pressure plates i am moody uh, yeah i need to get out of the basalt belt tunnels because they like to for some reason kill you underground. I'm just gonna check the map to see if there's any more villagers. Ah, okay, so there's one here. Look at the map to see. And so far, no. So I guess I'm just gonna go over to. Oh, wait, I have an idea. So I actually when... wanted to, to, to try and get a dragon fruit dragon. And the way to do this. Oh, God. Why well, I, I saw a freaking plant thing come out and almost bite me. Anyways, the way I'm going to do this is that I am going to see if there is a child. If there's a child, I can probably snag it. Wait, do you want to see if the capturing thing works on them? That is my initial plan. My guess is no. If it doesn't work on the guard villager, I highly doubt that it doesn't work with the, these guys. But I am willing to try. Okay. Now, the problem with the dragon fruit dragon is obviously I need to, to find a child. Now, that is the only way for me to actually tame these guys. I don't see a child. It works. Just punch it. With the stick. Oh, 
Got another camouflage thing. Okay, so Nick. Yeah. Um, I have good news and bad news. Good news. The the staff works. On dragons. Yeah. The bad news is that I uh, have a dragon fruit Drake or not. Well, I think it's a dragon fruit Drake or dragon fruit whatever. And now I don't know how to put him out because oh, you well, right -click. Well, 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 yeah, right click. But I'm pretty sure I need to. Uh, how would I word this? Put in it. Ah. See, I was worried that it would attack me and it would just do a lot of damage when it release it. Cause oh god, yep, okay, yep, 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 at the very least, at the very least, um, I can probably grab a uh, Roost Stalker because I know where those are. And the thing is with the Roost Stalker is that um, as much as I want them here, uh, we need to tame them at that exact moment because they go around and start taking out people's stuff in the chest and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to break all the beds here and then put them in the villager pen and I think that should be good enough for the villagers at the moment. Eventually, we're gonna have it. We're gonna have to add in all the professions and all that. But for now, I think this is good enough. So I'm, I'm going around currently and breaking all the beds. And eventually, once I uh, get all the beds in there, what the frick? Oh, oh wow! I just realized that I actually have a ability where I can see play like things all around me, like. I don't know how to describe it. Basically, if I press R, basically oh. all mobs around me have like a, a glowing thing on my end. So I can kind of like see where they are. I'm pretty sure it's everyone. So like okay. um, if I use R, yeah, it's everyone. Okay, so I got all the beds here. You and cool there's hat. more beds over here. Oh yeah, that's why there's like a set of two beds over here. Uh, give me a great one. Hey cat. Okay, and then gray one there. Actually, wait, are there different shades of gray? Yeah, they're... Well, no, I think it's because of lighting. Okay. Oh wow! Okay, that, that, that man, if that if that gravel went further down, that would have been scary. What the hell happened? Okay, there it is. Okay, so I know for a fact that um, there are probably more uh, what's it called beds than um, villagers, but I think eventually once they start you know overpopulating, eventually we might actually have to add more beds to this area. There are quite a bit of them around this area. All right, I think that's pretty much the best I can probably do for right now with the bed situation in the villagers, yeah. So for now, they can just figure out which bed they sleep in. Um, I, I still, like, just by looking around and seeing how many villagers there, I'm pretty sure we still need, like, a lot more um, beds, but still. I think this is fine for now, I suppose. All right, guys, so for now, that's basically it. Uh, I created a very suspicious um village and yeah so aside from that thank you guys for watching if you liked the video if you want to subscribe go ahead and subscribe and remember to be a zombie to be top i'll see you guys next video take care and good